actually, this is the speech from the movie Network, where Howard Beale, who has been damn mad and not going to take any more, is now being subdued by the president of the corporation. Now, Kieran, thanks to the fact that you've sat down there at the end of the <laughs> table, has volunteered so nicely to be Howard Beale. And I'm right. going to be Jensen, the CEO, who is going to harangue him and turn him to use. Now, Howard, at this point, has suffered a nervous breakdown <laughs> and has been very dangerous corporation. Jensen knows that and wants to turn him and use him because Howard is a public figure. Howard sits down. It's a long table. It's kind of dark. The light is on Howard. Mr. Jensen enters the room. You have meddled with the primal forces of nature, Mr. Beale, and I won't have it. Is that clear? You think you have merely stopped a business deal. That is not the case. The Arabs have taken billions of dollars out of this country, and now they must put it back. It is ebb and flow, tidal gravity. It is ecological balance. You are an old man who thinks in terms of nations and peoples. There are no nations. There are no peoples. There are no Russians. There are no Arabs. There is no third world. There is no West. There is only one holistic system of systems. One vast and immane, interwoven, interacting, multivariate, multinational dominion of dollars, petrodollars, electrodollars, multidollars, Rice marks, rubles, rim, pounds, and shekels. It is the international system of currency that determines the totality of life on this planet. That is the natural order of things today. That is the atomic, subatomic, and galactic structure of things today. And you have meddled with the forces of nature, Mr. Beale. And you will atone. <laughs> <laughs> you get up on your little 21 inch screen and howl about America and democracy there is no democracy there is no America there is only IBM and IT&T and AT&T and DuPont, Dow, Union Carbide Exxon and those are the nations of the world today what do you think the Russians talk about in their councils of state Karl Marx, they pull out their linear programming charts, statistical decision theories, and minimax solutions, and compute the price cost probabilities of their transactions and investments, just like we do. We no longer live in a world of nations and ideologies, Mr. Beale. The world is a college of corporations, inexorably determined by the immutable laws of business. The world is a business, Mr. Man. It has been since man crawled out of the slime. And our children, Mr. Beale, will live to see that perfect world in which there is no war and no famine, oppression and brutality. One vast and ecumenical holding company for whom all men will work to serve a common profit in which all men will hold a stake all necessities provided, all anxieties tranquilized, and all boredom amused. <laughs> <laughs> and I have chosen you, Mr. Beale, to preach this evangel. <clears throat> and Howard whispers, he's over my business. Why me? Just because you're on television, dummy. 60 million people watch you five days a week. And Howard's response to this is, I have seen the face of God. Jensen walks down and says, you might be right, Mr. Gill. Thank you all. <laughs> Thank you very much. 